So I played TF2 seven years ago and I spent well over a hundred hours and I think that I have enough judgment to tell if this game's still dead or alive. So recently when my internet was pretty bad, I decided to go back onto TF2. And was it a good idea? Well, let's see. First hopped into the game, I was pretty chill, you know, I like Sniper, I like Spy, I like Soldier. These characters are always in my heart, you know, Scout, Pyro, everybody really. And this game was the shit, this game was insanely popular back then, and a lot of people liked it, and they still stick around till this day. However, the fanbase isn't growing because I believe that Valve is not really updating the game. Let's revive TF2, let's go! I've been playing this game for like 3 hours today and the only thing that I do not like about this game is that there are hackers. I don't care if there are pros in this game, you know, because this game is not supposed to be taken seriously. But when you have a hacker, it just completely ruins the game, it completely ruins experience, and I think that if you ever run into a hacker, you should just FF, just leave, just leave. This game is one of those games where you don't really take the game seriously, you just play to have fun, you know, there's like always a character for somebody, if you're not good at aiming, if you're just chill, if you want to lay back and just wait for enemies to come out, like, oh my god. And believe me, I've played FPS games for the past 7 years, this game still hits hard, because this game is so amazing, because, look at this, they have a spy, they have a spy! Dude, no game in the past 7 years has even attempted to copy the spy, because the spy is just perfect in every way. Back to the topic, so there's no guns, okay, technically speaking there are no guns, there are other ballistic missiles out to get you, but there's still a lot of uh, stuff to pick, you know, there's like that light machine gun, they got the flamethrower, they got the shotgun, and I think this game doesn't really need guns. This game you don't really need assault rifles, you know, because if you have assault rifles, you can just imagine how unbearable this game would be. I'm kind of glad, you know, that the hackers slash bots, they just, you know, they stick with a sniper. They can't really do much with that. They can't kill like 7,000 people at once. So the, if you want to play with an assault rifle, I would just stick with the heavy. The heavy is just one of the best characters because it's the most familiar. Every other character just doesn't have anything else in their arsenal that, you know, you, you're really familiar with. And that's kind of the beauty of this game, because you hop into this game just to have fun. Mindless killing, mindless shooting, mindless stabbing as well. This game is still worth revisiting, I believe, because there's just so many things about this game that other games just do not have. And I've already mentioned that a while ago. But if you guys ever hop into TF2, I recommend you guys just stick with either attack, defense, and capture the point. Don't go with capture the flag or any of the other ones, really. I think attack and defense is probably the best game mode. Because, dude, if you're playing capture the flag and you're up against two bots, I'm telling you, you're not gonna have a good time and the game will end really fast. And the thing I don't like about this game is that it takes a while for you to ban people, which kinda sucks. So yeah, that's pretty much all I wanted to talk about. I just don't have a lot of Valorant clips to clip because my internet is still really bad and I still can't stream and I still suffer from lag in TF2. If you guys want to watch me play TF2, just let me know because this game is a lot of fun, dude. Sniping, everything is just hilarious. I don't get mad at dying, surprisingly. Not many games can do that. Every game where I die, I feel... <laughs> That's how I feel. But whenever I die in TF2, whether it be Demo Man or Soldier or Scout, you know, sometimes I get mad, but not really. Come on, like, dying in Valorant, dying in CSGO, dying in COD... It's just like, what? What? If you play TF2 seriously in 2021, that's your decision. But if you are just starting out, I honestly think there's nothing much here for you to play competitively for. Because nobody really cares if you're Platinum, Diamond, and TF2. This game came out years ago, man. And if TF3 comes out, Jesus, that's like Fortnite 2. That's gonna be massive. Big deals. So yeah. Uh, that's kind of all I wanted to talk about. If you guys enjoyed the video, please leave a like and comment down below. That always helps me out a lot. That helps the channel a lot. Subscribe. That's going to be really helpful too. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you guys with another video. I don't even know what I'm going to make. Peace out.